In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. We will glory in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, in whom is our salvation, our life, and resurrection. Assist us mercifully with your help, O Lord God of our salvation, that we may enter with joy upon the contemplation of those mighty acts whereby you have given us life and immortality through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus was taken in chains to Pilate. The chief priests were accusing Jesus of many things. So Pilate questioned him. Aren't you going to answer, he said? Listen to all of their accusations. Jesus refused to say a word and Pilate was amazed. Pilate spoke to the crowd. What do you want me to do with this one you call King of the Jews? They shouted back, crucify him. But what crime has he committed, Pilate asked. They shouted all the louder, crucify him. Pilate wanted to please the crowd, so he sent Barabbas free for them. Then he had Jesus whipped and handed him over to be crucified. Let us pray. Almighty God, whose most dear son went not up to joy, but he suffered pain, and entered not into glory before he was crucified. Mercifully grant that we, walking in the way of the cross, may find it none other than the way of life and peace, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Station 2, Jesus Takes Up His Cross We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. A reading from Mark the soldiers took Jesus inside the court to the courtyard of the governor's palace and called together the rest of the company. They put a purple robe on Jesus, made a crown out of thorn branches, and put it on his head. Then they began to salute him. Long live the king of the Jews. They beat him over the head with a stick, spat on him, fell on their knees, and bowed to him. When they had finished mocking him, they took off the purple robe and put his own clothes back on. Then they led him out to crucify him. Let us pray. Almighty God, who, whose beloved Son willingly endured the agony and shame of the cross for our redemption, give us courage to take up our cross and follow him. Who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Third station. Jesus falls the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Bible reading. Isaiah 53 1. Who would have believed? what we now tell. Who could have seen God's hand in this? Let us pray. O oh God, you know us to be set on the midst of so many great dangers that by the reason of frailty of our nature we cannot 
always stand upright. Grant us such strength and protection as may support us in all dangers and carry us through all temptations through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. A reading from Luke, chapter 2. The time came for Joseph and Mary to perform the ceremony of purification as the law of Moses commanded. So they took the child Jesus to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. At that time, there was a man named Simon living in Jerusalem. Simon blessed them and said to Mary, This child is chosen by God for the destruction and salvation of many in Israel. He will be a sign from God of which many people will speak against and so reveal their secret thoughts. And sorrow, like a sharp sword, will break your own heart. Let us pray. O God, who willed that in the passion of your Son a sword of grief should pierce the soul of the Blessed Virgin Mary, his mother, mercifully grant that your church, having shared with her in his passion, may be made worthy to share in the joys of his resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. On their way through Jerusalem, they met a man named Simon, who was coming into the city from the country, and the soldiers forced him to carry Jesus' cross. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, whose blessed Son came not to be served, but to serve, bless all who, following in his steps, giving them to the giving them to the service of others, that 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 with wisdom, patience, and courage, they they may minister in the name of they may minister to the suffering, the friendless, and the needy, for the love of Him who laid down who laid down His life for us, Your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Bible reading, Matthew chapter 25, verses 35 through 36 and verse 40. I was hungry and you fed me, thirsty and you gave me a drink. I was a stranger and you received me in your homes, naked and, and you clothed me. I was sick and you took care of me, in prison and you visited me. visited me. Whenever you did this, you did it for me. Let us pray. O oh God, who before the passion of your only begotten Son revealed his glory upon the holy mountain, us to that we beholding by the faith the light of his countenance, may be strengthened to bear our cross, and be changed into his likeliness from glory to glory. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Station 7 Jesus falls the second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Bible reading. Isaiah 53, 7. Ill-treated and afflicted, he never said a word. Like a lamb led to the slaughterhouse, like a sheep. Dumb before its shears, he never opened his mouth. Let us pray. Teach your church, O oh Lord, to mourn the sins of which it is guilty and repent on forsake them. That by your pardoning grace, the results of iniquity may not visit upon our children and our children's children. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. A reading from Luke. 
Chapter 23 A large crowd of people followed Jesus. Among them were some women who were weeping and wailing for him. Jesus turned to them and said, Women of Jerusalem, don't cry for me, but for yourselves and for your children. Let us pray. Teach your church, O Lord, to mourn the sins of which it is guilty, and to repent and forsake them, that by your pardoning grace the results of our iniquities may not be visited upon our children and our children's children. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Station 9, Jesus falls a third time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Bible reading. Isaiah 53, verses 4 and 5. He endured the suffering that should have been ours, the pain he should have borne. All the while, we thought that his suffering was punishment set by God. But because of our sins, he was wounded, beaten because of the evil we did. We are healed by punishment he suffered, made by the, by the blows he received. Let us pray. O oh God, the passion of your blessed Son, you may, made a, an, an instrument of shameful death to be for us the means of life. Grant us so to glory in the cross of the Christ, that we may gladly suffer shame and loss of the shame of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. They took Jesus to a place called Golgotha, which means the place of the skull. They tried to give him wine mixed with a drug called myrrh, but Jesus would not eat. Then they crucified him and divided his clothing among themselves, throwing dice to see who would get each piece of clothing. Let us pray. Lord God, whose blessed Son, our Savior, gave his body to be whipped and his face to be spit upon. Give us grace to accept joyfully the sufferings of the present time, confident of the glory that shall be revealed. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Station 11. Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by our holy cross you have redeemed the world. A reading from Luke. It was nine o'clock in the morning when they crucified him. The people stay there watching him. The leaders jeered at him, and the soldiers mocked him. Some women and his friends from Galilee looked on in a distance. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you stretched out your arms of love on the hard wood of the cross that everyone might come within the reach of your saving embrace. So clothe us in your spirit that we reach the fort of your hands in love. May bring those who do not know you to knowledge and love you. For the honor of your name. Amen. How are you? O oh Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. It was about 12 o'clock when the sun stopped shining and the darkness covered the whole country until 3 o'clock. And the curtain hanging in the temple was torn into two. Jesus cried out in, the, in a loud voice, Father, in your hands I place my spirit. He said this and died. Let us pray. O oh God, who for redemption gave your only begotten Son to the death of the cross, and by the glorious resurrection delivered from, from delivered us from the power of our enemy. Grant us so to die daily to sin, that we may evermore live with him and enjoy of his resurrection, who lives and reigns now and forever. Amen. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. 
Bible readings, Mark chapter 15, verses 42 through 46. And when evening came, Joseph of Arimathea, a respected member of the council, went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. Joseph took the body down and wrapped it in a linen sheet. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, by your death, you took away the sting of death. Grant to us, your servants, so to follow in faith where you have led the way, that we may at length fall asleep peacefully in you and wake up in your likeness. For your tender mercy's sake. Amen. Morning. Station 14, Jesus is laid in the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Bible reading. Mark 15, verses 46 and 47. Joseph placed, Joseph placed the body in a tomb, which, has, which had been dug out of solid rock. Then he rolled a large stone across the entrance. Ma Mary Mandelich and Mary, the mother of Joseph, were watching and saw the the body of Jesus was placed. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, by your death, you took away the sting of death. Grant us your servant, so it, to follow the faith where you had led the way, we may had, we may at length fall asleep peacefully in you and wake up in your likeness for your tender mercy's sake. Grant, O oh Lord, that as we seek forgiveness from you, so we may be ready to hear your call to take up our cross and share in your suffering by acts of service and in patience of life. Amen. Many thanks and blessings to our young, Ariana Brown, Owen Hoban, Isabel Newman Brown, Andres Rodriguez, Zoe Frost, Brody Frost, Alejandro Rodriguez, and Leo Salinas, and their parents for helping record the readings and prayers. May God bless you always. <laughs>